every day. It can be hard to keep up, so let's get started together. Hallie Jackson Now, weekdays at 5 on NBC News Now. NBC News, streaming free now. Now tonight with Joshua Johnson, streaming weeknights at 8 on NBC News Now. Hello, friends, and welcome to the 74th Primetime Emmy Awards. I'm Zuri Hall. And I'm Justin Sylvester. And here we're here with Kate McKinnon, <laughs> who is nominated Hi, supporting actress in a comedy tonight. Hi, how are you? You're the you Mariah guys Carey. You're so and same. Oh, you do. Uh, thanks, thanks. I'm supposed to be the only one tailored on this platform, okay, by the way. I'm sorry. <laughs> you look fab. Thank you. <laughs> nominated tonight. This is your ninth Emmy nomination? Yes. Ninth wow. year in a row for this category, yes. right? Yes, yes. Talk to me a little bit about how it feels. Yes, 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 yes. Is it a high school reunion at this point? I mean, you've won twice already. So is the pressure off or does it mean just as much each year that you're nominated? I would say it means more and more. I mean, I, look, I got to work at SNL, my favorite show in history for 10 years. And I got to meet the best people I've ever known. and just have the most amazing experiences and like this is icing on a cake but it's really about like I love the people I work with so much and it's just such an honor. So you are sitting out this fall. Um, I have to know, how are you going to get over that FOMO that you're about to feel when <laughs> SNL starts? Like, what are you going to keep yourself busy with? It's in? coming. We're here. Um, it's, well, it's going to be bad. So I have just, I have a bunch of seasons of Married at First Sight that I have not yet <laughs> dug into. It's so good. And I know. I know. I know. <laughs> it's the greatest thing. Yeah, thing um, so, yeah, that's mainly my plan um, okay. for Saturday nights to keep myself from feeling like. Ah! And out. I'm so proud of everyone who's like going to be yeah. taking over and doing an amazing job. Yes, we'll continue to watch and we're so excited to see what's next for you. I mean, you have such an illustrious career, so much ahead of you. Just really quickly before we let you go, what's next for Kate McKinnon? What would you love yes. for us to experience you in that maybe we haven't seen yet? Right? Oh gosh. Okay, well, um, like I, uh, you know, you've heard of maybe this Barbie movie that's coming up. I got to be in that, and that is going to be unbelievable. I'm so excited for that. And then beyond that, you know, I'm I'm figuring it out, and I'm so I'm so excited for what what lies ahead. Well, we can't wait. <laughs> We're excited to watch Kate. Good luck tonight. Have so much fun. Thank you so much. You Good care. luck tonight. Let me, get, let me give you a hand down. Just oh, or, I love a hand kiss. Ooh, and Look the bling. Amazing. Thank you, Kate. All right, y'all. I mean, come on. Television's biggest night is officially here. It is almost, almost time for the Emmy. Uh huh. And this is the official 74th Emmy Awards pre show. That's we're, right. We're official. We're here. We are coming to you live from the red carpet at the Microsoft Theater in Los Angeles to celebrate the year's best and brightest in television. And this year, we're going global, welcoming Emmy Awards fans from countries on every continent around the world. Oh, we got good Wi Fi. We got baby. The good Wi Fi. From South Africa to Spain, Italy to Israel. This is the place to be for all the action from the red carpet straight into the Emmys broadcast. So keep watching right where you are. Uh huh. And if, if this year's list is nominees to any indication of how lit it's going to be, first of all, I'm not going to get into that yet because we are on the carpet and we get stars left and right. Yep. I'm going to call up Connie Britton right now. When it happens, from we roll success, with it. From White Lotus, mm -hmm. Connie Britton looking amazing in hot pink. Ooh, Connie, come on up. Oh my God, look at you you are a vision. Ooh. Oh, yes. I got your, this your memo. This is phenomenal. Thank you. Connie, you were just giving it to me tonight. Awesome. Welcome. Just for you. Thank just you. She did you. it for me, guys. He gets very selfish, so it has to be just for him. <laughs> yeah, no, just for you. Uh, obviously, tonight we're celebrating you supporting actress in a limited series for The White Lotus. How are you feeling ahead of tonight's nomination? Oh, I'm so thrilled to be here. It's such a huge honor. It's so wonderful to be here with so many cast members. And it's so great to be back together, all of us, yeah. all of us. It's really, we have to celebrate that. Now, were you just in Italy filming season two? No, honey. <laughs> you know what's so funny? I, I feel like you guys are always trying to like, so were you just in Italy for some reason? Super cash. Just yeah, yeah. if you feel like yeah. giving it to us, give it to us. Do season two, not for lack of trying. We actually talked about it and then it didn't work out for this season, but hoping 
future season. Okay, okay. so you know what? If you're not going to make it to Italy, I just need you to go back to Texas okay. and get Friday Night Lights back on. Michael B. It's Jordan just... said he would be back if you were back. He did not. I, I can get him to say it. <laughs> I will not confirm or deny that that is true. He did not. He did not. <laughs> would you ever? I, I would, but I can tell you there are plenty of people that would not. Okay. So okay. I'm not naming any names. <laughs> But Patty said, that's all I got to say right about now. that. I think it's not going to happen. Um, <laughs> I love you so much. Now, this is your fifth Emmy nomination. So I'm curious, does the excitement of a night like this ever wear off? I mean, what's the best part about not just reuniting with, with friends, with former co-stars, but also being celebrated for the amazing talent that you are so often? The, you know what? The excitement never wears off. Honestly, I think that's the best part. The best part is that when this happens, when you get nominated for an Emmy, it still feels like the biggest shock, the biggest honor, and the biggest dream come true. And you know, I really did dream about this as a young girl, and I could never have imagined it like this. So I, I it's just, you know, it's still every single time. And if I get, if I have the honor of having even more n nominations ever in my life, yeah. it's going to feel as exciting. Well, speaking of that, there are a lot of shows nominated here tonight. Amazing shows, yes, by the way. Yes, if you could join a cast next season of any show, what would it be? Oh, <laughs> it would be Only Murders in the Building. Oh! I just met Steve Martin, and I'm obsessed. How was that experience? We too just met yeah. Steve Martin. We're obsessed. Did? Yeah. You did? Well, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with that show. I've loved him for his whole, uh, my whole life, and, as I've admired him. Mm -hmm. uh, Martin Short, forget it. Selena, forget it. But I love that show. I love the writing. It's so fun. And um, yeah, I when I met Steve Martin, I was like gushing all over him. Yeah. <laughs> As you should. I mean, what else can one do when meeting Steve like Martin? Like bowing down. And I'm not. I'm pretty sure he didn't know who I was. But that's okay. We have to know. No, he does not have to know who I am. By the way, security no. is waiting for you right here. I know. I, I was yeah. a little worried about it, so I feel safe. This is a safe space. Yeah, this is a safe space. Because they're after me. <laughs> but it's, it's just you, us, and the entire world watching yeah. globally. It's going to be no big deal. Connie, have so much fun, and good luck in there tonight. Thank you. So I'll help you. you. I'll give you a hand, because these stairs can get a little crazy. I mean, I have so much train. Just train beyond train. But it is a train We are joined now by Rachel Brosnahan, nominated for lead actress in a comedy for The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. We're headed into that fifth and final season. How are you feeling? Oh my God, I feel like I'm not gonna have perspective until about three months after we wrap and then I'm probably gonna cry a lot. <laughs> long time, long time, lots of tears. Yeah, mostly from exhaustion, but no, it's, no, no. It's bittersweet, it's been, it's been really nice to know ahead of time because you don't always get that luxury that this is our fifth and final season. So I think we're just trying to cherish every moment together and enjoy it. If I don't get a Lenny and Mitch move in on this season, I <laughs> love that relationship. Me too. Is it just like so sacred to you that they have that connection? Yeah, I, I, I mean, I love the evolution of their relationship. I love their friendship. I love whatever's going on now. And it, Luke Kirby is just such a magnetic, electric presence on screen. And anything that we get to do together is so much fun. Right? Yeah. The fact that you went from House of Cards to Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, uh, how as an actor do you transition for something so, from something so deep yeah. to something so light and fun? It's the versatility yeah. for me. It's the writing. It, it feels like it all starts with the writing and whoever's creatively at the helm of a project. And I've been so lucky to work with brilliant creators like Bo Williman and David Fincher, who helped shape House of Cards, and Amy and Dan, who have 
built The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel from the ground up. I mean, it all starts with incredible writing, and oh. I've just been so fortunate. You just get to live in the character, the the, the genre or comedy versus drama. It, it doesn't quite matter. Yeah. Well, you're living in the stress. I am living for it. Absolutely, you are. Yes. Stunning. Best of luck to you tonight, and congratulations on an incredible run with The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Take Thank care, Rachel. Thank you. Do you need a hand? Are you okay? Joined by the one and only Cheryl Lee Ralph giving slit, giving velvet, giving ponytail. It is an incredible night for you. You're a first time nominee. You know, we spoke about a week ago. You said the good senator was going to be your day tonight. Senator Hughes in the back there. The kids are here. How special is it to have them all here as you celebrate your first nomination? I knew that this moment could not come in my life and I'm not able to share it with my family. It's far difficult enough that I'm not able to share it with my mother and father who looked down on me in, in, from heaven. But to be here with my kids, with my husband, oh, it's yeah. such a blessing. <laughs> deserve it all. All right. Now, we all had a Miss Barbara. We all grew up with a teacher who really touched us and who didn't play. I got to know, who was the inspiration for this role? I have to say that my dad was the most excellent teacher I ever had. Mm. And following my dad, they would of course be my mother. Okay. My dad was a lifetime educator and a lifetime learner. Started out as a teacher, ended up a college professor, was assistant principal and principal and all of the, that yeah. stuff. Yeah. But I have an Auntie Carolyn okay. who is just the most amazing educator. Yeah. She started out as a very reluctant teacher and she was the kind of teacher that called up England and said, may I speak to the Queen? Ooh. And the Queen actually came to her school, Bunker Hill in Washington, D.C., at her invitation, sipped tea and served it to. Amen. Wow. That is incredible. Well, listen, we have a little surprise for you. Yes. Um, we're just going to bring in an iPad. I'm not going to explain much. With some fresh earbuds some for fresh you. Some earbuds, never been worn. Let me go ahead and hold that bag for you, Shirley Ralph. Yeah. Um, a little something from Auntie Carolyn oh, to you. Oh, get out of here. Yes, yes. We taught her how to so work the you iPad. That. She, she got the tech together. We taught her how to work the iPad. You know what I'm saying? Hey girl, as you know, you come from a family of educators, and I am so Let very proud Justin. that we, you portray Miss Barbara Howard, sure. educator extraordinaire. You have worked so hard, and I am so happy that you have been nominated for this Emmy. Your mom, your dad. Your family, everyone is so excited. Good luck to you. Ms. Ralph, don't you make us tear do up on the stage because we still got a lot of time left. <laughs> so obviously you are so emotional right now for good reason. This woman has played such a significant part of your life. What does it mean to be on the Emmys carpet, nominated for the first time ever, and the woman who played such a vital role is here you well. I'm so happy that Auntie Carolyn was able to figure out the technology. <laughs> yes! We love a technical moment. Because she is Miss Howard when it comes to the technology, honey. Yes. You got to take time with Auntie Carolyn, but she will work it out because she is determined yeah. like that. Yeah. And it doesn't get too much better for me. Aww. I miss my parents, but I got my aunt, I got my husband, I got my children, and I got everybody that's out here work, watching, and I thank them so much because they wished me so well. You cannot believe the kind of texts that I've gotten, the emails, the social media messages, you know, and everybody has just been so wonderful about this time. And I tell you, whether this award finds its way into my hands or not, 
I've already won. And oh. you have. So thankful. And, I, and look, I'm looking at you all and look at change. Yes. Look how wonderful it yes. is. I'm here and I'm here to see all of you mm. right here, oh. right now. Well, we hope that you take that trophy home. Yes. I'm going to keep Absolutely. this purse, Shirley Ralph, because it goes with my outfit. With the and I'm going to go ahead and take your husband as well. Oh, Senator. Run, Senator. Let's go. Run, Senator. Let's go, Senator. Senator. We love Ab Elementary. We love you. Good luck tonight. It was so good to see you, love. Thank you. Mwah. And this ponytail. Mm. Take My care. My glam team. Quinta Brunson joins us now, nominated for lead actress in a comedy. Seven knots tonight for Abbott Elementary across the board. How excited are you, particularly being a first time nominee tonight? Being a first time nominee is such a, I don't know, it's an experience you only get once. And I mean, getting nominated for an Emmy period is huge, but it's been wonderful. I feel like my entire cast is a part of this freshman class of being nominated. Um, the show, the actors, Cheryl, Tyler, and Janelle, me, it, just feels wonderful and this weekend has helped us to celebrate because we're in the middle of production so you know we're in the Wait, thick of it. Did you just squeeze the Emmys in on your day off? You gotta go. We did. <laughs> we will be back at work tomorrow finishing season two. <laughs> now we all had that one teacher that touched our lives. Who was that person for you and did you bring them into this role? There's so many teachers who touch my life and all of them are in there. I would say the ones that influenced me the most for Janine would be a mixture of my mom and my sixth grade teacher, Miss Abbott, who has the namesake for the show. Um, but I don't know, I had amazing teachers, Miss O'Neill, Mr. Ruth, Umi, and Mongozi, teachers who just changed my life. Um, and I wanted to represent them through the show and just the love and the care of the show. And I know they can feel it. My aunt worked at the school that I went to, so I couldn't get away with anything. Yeah, she was watching. Was it the same thing with your mom? It was the exact same thing with my mom. She was shutting it down. She was shutting it, it happen, down. not on her watch. <laughs> if it weren't at her school, at another school, like when I got to high school and stuff, somebody knew her and knew, oh, that's Norma's daughter. And, you know, so no, I didn't get to get away with much. Not Norma's daughter. That's Ooh. when you know. Like, I got her on speed dial, honey. <laughs> <laughs> so many people have connected with the show in its first season. I'm curious to know, when did you know you had a hit on your hands? Did you know even after filming the pilot? I mean, yeah, for me, it was in the editing of the pilot. The, the pilot, the editing process, I don't know, you get to see how well the cast is meshing, how well the jokes are working out. Our, our intention timing worked out so well. And by the time we finished editing the pilot, I was like, wow, we have something good it's really good to me everyone else can feel it who worked on the show and then um i would say for the public i think it was just i don't know seeing people make like make memes out of it i mean i think that's a huge telling sign that that yeah. something you've made is resonating with people and as a former meme myself i know that <laughs> on behalf of memes yes. everywhere memes everywhere the meme community <laughs> so you know a lot of people at home think oh you have an idea you go to a studio you pitch it two months later you're on the air that does not work in hollywood how long was your process from the creation of this idea until you guys got on air oh wow i mean it's it's a it's a long process i mean i kind of had the idea at my mom's retirement which was in 2017 and after that you know you I did so many other things. I had done Black Lady Sketch Show. I had done, I, I didn't, I started the idea and brought it to who are now my co-producers, Justin, Justin and Patrick. And we all had different things going on. I was in the middle of a show with CBS, a pilot, and, and we thought of it as a cartoon. We thought that it could be a cartoon at a point so that I could still be a part of it, but not in it. And then years later, 2020, we were like, man, we want to revisit this. Neither of us had anything on our plate. So all three of us came back together and said, we want to make Abbott now. And I knew I wanted to pitch it to network. 
and there was a woman, Erin Wernberg, at ABC that I really wanted to work with, and that's who I got to sell the show to. So I was really exciting about that. Well, we're so excited it's here. Now, really quickly, yes. you're playing Oprah Winfrey. We talked about this last Ooh, week. Ooh, you guys. Fascinating version of Gail Michael will be forever. watching. Gail will be watching. How did you prepare for this biopic? It's a Weird Al Yankovic biopic. Yeah, yeah. Important to know. It's a fantastically foolish <laughs> movie. I just want people to know that. Okay. And um, when they asked me to do it, I was like, I cannot play Oprah. But then I read the script and I saw the tone of it and I said, oh, I, this is what I was born to do. I, I watched some of her interviews with some of the most interesting people, particularly her one with Michael Jackson, which was hilarious. And um, I kind of brought that energy, but I still brought myself to the role as well. I've worked with Daniel Radcliffe before on Miracle Workers. So I already know working with him was a dream and that was even better. Weird Al is so kind and nice and it's just that. a wonderful, wonderful environment. The director, uh, Eric Appel, just it was great, you guys. I don't know what to say. Please go watch that movie when it comes <laughs> yeah. to theaters. Oh, we we'll will. be watching Abbott Elementary new season. Our new season premieres yeah. next week um, on Wednesday at 9 on ABC. And you can stream on Hulu. All right. Congratulations and best of luck tonight. Thank you, so Quinta. Do you need a hand, love? You okay? You sure? Okay. I'm going to live my best gay fantasy right now because Lily James is serving us Versace realness. Please welcome her to this carpet right now. Thank you. I feel good. I feel kind of, I was so nervous in the car on the way over, but now I'm feeling like I can breathe and this is a celebration and I'm so honored to be here. So I'm feeling better. And there's a lot tonight that you have to celebrate. I mean, 10 nominations for Pam and Tommy. You're up for lead actress in a limited series. Are the stakes high tonight? Are you just ready to enjoy this? How are you feeling about the critical and commercial success of the series? Well, honestly, I was FaceTiming my mom on the waiver and she was like, you've already won, darling. You've already won. And it's true. Like, I'm so honored. And to be amongst the women in my category, it's mind blowing. And the show to have got so many nominations. Yes. So it's so shared. Uh, I just, it's just, a, it really is to celebrate tonight. And whatever happens on the end could be the cherry on the top of the whatever or whatever. The yeah. incredible <laughs> Sunday. It's already an awesome Sunday. But I have to know, what part of the costuming or the hair or the makeup really made you get into that character? Because I felt like you were Pam. There was a transformation. When I saw the eyebrows, I yes. thought, okay, well, the there's Anderson. It was the eyebrows for me. It's all about the eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, those classic, iconic eyebrows. The eyebrows, and they did such a good job. Bat Battery Limo, who did my hair, and the prosthetics I had on that were so subtle. Well, the boobs weren't so subtle. But <laughs> <laughs> um, there was so much that when I had amazing trainer, Matt Bevan, who worked with me really hard, so I would feel a bit stronger and leaner and that confidence that comes from within and without, you know. So yeah. it was a lot of things leading up to it. Well, oh. you shined in that series. We're so excited for you. You're Best of luck tonight. tonight. Yeah. You absolutely are. Ooh, like, Ooh, oh, Can we just get a moment with the slit? Yes. Oh, the slit's good. Let me just give you. Yeah, oh, we're just gonna, yeah, yeah. We're going to give you. Yeah, yeah. Just a little something. Right. <laughs> Have so much fun in there tonight, Lily. Thank, Thank you. you. Take care. Thank you. drama Bob Odenkirk better call Saul how you doing tonight man I'm doing all right is it night time I have sunglasses on <laughs> you look ready for whatever the weather brings sunglasses you look pretty cool I gotta say that you have a lot favorites. to celebrate yeah and um, that's not a sponsorship they're my favorites <laughs> they really are how long you have these glasses you got to tell us uh, I've had it for a few about six months which is good right yeah. sunglasses no. are like By soft. the way, are you good at keeping them? No. The I cheaper am. they are, the longer I will keep them. Uh, Isn't that course. how it goes? Yes, of course. I have sunglasses that were given to me I've had for 10 years. You'll never but get rid of them. the ones you pay for, you lose. Always. Soon enough. You have been playing this character, Saul, since 2008. We're talking more what? than a decade. I know. <laughs> I know. How old am I? <laughs> you... I'm almost 60. Well, you look good. We are going to miss Saul. What have you loved most about playing him? And what will you miss most when it's time to say goodbye? Oh, the variety of the character. If you haven't watched Better Call Saul, you'd be surprised what I get to do. I get to be super funny and silly 
and then do heartfelt and really earnest moments all within a one hour show. And it's pretty amazing what we get away with. No, for sure. Now, this show not only brought you an Emmy nomination, it actually saved your life. Kind of did, yeah, because I had a heart attack one year and one month ago, and I was lucky to be with my uh, castmates, uh, Ray Seahorn and Patrick Fabian, and it was during COVID, so everyone's very separated, right? And I could have easily gone to my trailer, but because of where I was and they saw we were right near each other, they ran over to me and kept me from... Uh, I think it kept me from hitting the ground, actually. Wow. And then uh, screaming, and then people showed up. There's a lot of people on a movie set or TV set. And we had some great people who knew CPR properly. So. Thank goodness. And, and how are you feeling now? All is well? well? I'm great. I got two stents. I take my medicine as prescribed. Make sure you take your medicine. <laughs> and uh, and now, I'm good. I'm good. You are lucky because you get to work with Brian and Aaron, and yes. I don't think that you ever have to pay for another shot of tequila ever again in your You're life. Drinking tequila is, that, for free? is that part of the perks of working? I get? <laughs> I'm gonna tell them that's what I get. Free tequila for life. <laughs> I could use some right now. Cranston, <laughs> Aaron, Brian, where are you guys? You we need what? you in this line handing out your uh, magic juice. <laughs> we, we see a couple of plates with some magic juice on them, so we're not gonna keep you from it. Right. You go get that tequila. Thanks. Good luck tonight, Bob. Congratulations. Have fun tonight. Thank you. Right. How cute is Bob? Oh my goodness. The category was Emmys and Sarah Niles delivered with this gown. Supporting actress in a comedy. You're up for that tonight for your role in Ted Lasso. This is your first Emmy nomination ever. Hi. First time at the Emmys too, right? Yeah, I think I, I kind of like slipped in through the side door. I don't know. I, I was like... <laughs> Somebody said, you might get nominated. And I was like, no, beep, beep, way. I'm going to get <laughs> What's so interesting about that is you joined for season two. Yeah. So you knew that you were joining this behemoth of a show. I did not. What was that like? I did not know. It you was, that, no, it was so I, no, because some friends said, have you not seen it? I was like, no. Oh so God. I sent through a cell tape, you know, and when I got the part, I started to realize it started to get loads of awards. And I was like, what's happening? So I'll be sitting there the next day with Jason going, hey, well done, you got nominated. Because yeah, you know, it's by everyone. I'm like, yeah, this is great. <laughs> He's like, it's kind of what we do here. I'm in a clue, not having a clue. How you know, good. I need a therapist like yeah. you. A little bit tough, yeah. a little dry. Yeah. And who doesn't beat around the bush? Right? I know. Straight to the point. That's what I need. I need that too. <laughs> Because I feel yeah. like you are not like your character at all. I'm not really, no. <laughs> I'm very goofy. Like, part of it was like, like, like trying to keep it serious. It was so exhausting that sometimes Jason's so funny. Yeah. I'm like, this is really hard just to be serious, just to be right. serious all the time. But, um, yeah. And that's what I was curious about. You know, you get so much one-on-one -on -one time with Jason, yeah. also known, obviously, as Ted. And those scenes contain so much emotion. I mean, what's it like sharing the screen with him? What is it like working with him? I think he's a very generous actor. He just really allowed the space for us to work together. And um, like myself, he's also an advocate for mental health. Like, you know, so when you're, you're in that space and you're trying to like push for mental health and take care of that subject, I think that's what, when it works, you know? I'm loving this British invasion. <laughs> American TV, some of my favorite shows Aww. come from London. Why are like, why are American audiences obsessed with the Brits right now, you think? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's because we, we have a long line of like theatre, craft and all that, you know. Uh, maybe it's that. But I, I love America. I think it's a lot of things. And the accent is posh. It's just... Yeah. Not yes. my one. Can you hear I talk like from South London? <laughs> no. Hey, South London in the building, y'all. Oh, no, brown cow. That's how much you speak. But no, sorry. Sarah, best of luck Thank tonight. Thank you so much. I'll help you down. This Sarah is a bit of a beast. You're so welcome. <laughs> Thank love you, love. It. All right, and coming up next, my girl, we have another queen, Nicole my girl, Byer. Nicole Byer. Yeah, we are live. We're just going to get right into it. This woman is the funniest woman oh, I have so ever met, and congratulations. Thank you. Nominated for your comedy special, <laughs> BBW. Yes, big, beautiful weirdo. <laughs> yes. What was, like, the inspiration behind this one? Oh, the name of it? Well, in porn, there's a genre called BBW, Big Beautiful Woman, and I was like, Mm, what do I call a big, beautiful weirdo? This works for me. Yeah, right? I'm into that. I'm big, I'm beautiful, I'm weird as fuck. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do yeah. it. <laughs> I mean, tell us a little bit.
little bit about maybe your favorite behind the scenes moment from the comedy special, something that still makes you smile. You're always making us laugh. What makes you laugh every time you think of it? Um, I did an encore that didn't make it into the special. Netflix found it to be a little too, too raunchy. Ooh. Yeah, so I did it for my best friend Sushi or my other best friend Mateo who were there and they were like guffawing. And I have the footage. It's funny, but I get it. I get that, you know, sometimes you cross the line and you don't want that on your platform. Yeah, right? No, you did. Yeah. Now I have to know because you know everybody in this business. I saw you networking over here last year. If you could join any cast of any show for the next season, which one would it be? Either The Boys or Yellow Jackets. Ooh. Or you on Netflix. I Can it please be you? Can we just manifest a you moment? Love. Yes. Right. I want to be murdered. What's your character? Like, no, who are what you, you on I The Boys? Oh, on The Boys? On The Boys, I mean, give me a superpower. I don't know what, though. There's so many different ones. I mean, I love storms, so I'd love to control yeah. the weather and fly, yeah. but that's X-Men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, on you, I would love to be stalked. Okay, I'd love to be stalked. Because okay. I was like, are you giving serial killer? Are you teaming up oh, with Joe? No, no, no. I want Joe to lust after okay. me. Yes. That's Don't what I want. Off. You just yeah. gotta just, just run, like, survive. Dishes as he's like, she's tempting me. <laughs> <laughs> the narration, right? Uh -huh. Well, if you win tonight, we'll see you at the after party. Ooh. And if you don't win tonight, we're going to still see you yes, at the after party. I'm so drunk. <laughs> I don't want to know who I am. <laughs> well, we know that you are Nicole Byer, baby, and you are giving it to us tonight. Best of luck. Have so much fun inside. Have bye. a good one. Okay, I can help you down the stairs a little crazy. You want to just grab my arm? Okay. by one of my favorite actresses nominated tonight, Melanie Linsky. Yellow Jackets took the world by storm. What was it like knowing that everybody was in love with your show and couldn't get enough of it? Oh my gosh, it was, a, it was a very new feeling for me to be part of something that people were responding to in that way. It was so exciting, honestly. It was amazing. I mean, the cast alone, Juliet yeah. Lewis, oh. Christina Ricci, the list oh goes on and on and on. Who are you trying to add for season two? Well, they've added a couple of really exciting people. A Maori actress who I know from New Zealand who I've known for 20 years called Simone Kessel, who I adore. So I have an old friend now, like as if the job couldn't get any better. And um, Lauren Ambrose from Six Feet Under is coming. Mm -hmm. So those things have both been announced. I'm not yeah. spoiling anything. Okay. No, yeah. no spoilers. But if you yeah. feel like telling us, it's just yeah, you us and yeah. the girls. Yeah. What happens? <laughs> um, so what happened was uh, your star has just continued to rise so incredibly. It's so deserved. Your talent is impressive. I'm wondering, though, what's the biggest way in which your life has changed since the success of Yellow Jacket? I suddenly have to do photo shoots and things like that, which I never had in my life before. And I'm horrible at it. I'm 45 years old. I'm someone's mum. I don't, it's not for me. So those are I, some I, of the best things about you. And I saw one of these cover photos oh, and you are absolutely yes. killing it. Thank you. It took a lot of uh, hand-holding from support people in my life, <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm getting I'm getting used to it. I'm telling myself it's a moment in time. Just try to embrace it. It's not going to be forever, you know. It's just it's a special moment. Yeah. Now, Melanie, you are the belle of the ball tonight. Everyone's going to be knocking on your door to join their cast next season. <laughs> if you could choose one show that is nominated here tonight, Severance. Oh, whoa! <laughs> she didn't Severance. even let me finish. Severance. The question, oh. Steve Carell, where are you? Oh my god! Isn't it so good? It's so 
good. It is so good. I mean, every show nominated is so good. Succession is so good. Like, I mean, every single show. But Severance, I like, in my heart, I love it. I love it so much. I'm very weird. I've met a bunch of the actors. I've been very weird to them, like a huge fangirl. I, I hope love that. Weird is the selling point here, though. We want weird. I love weird. Good. Okay, <laughs> good. For it. I get very weird. We're going to talk about it right now. Um, talk to me a little bit about the dream character, though. Like, pitch us. If we're on Severance, what's the character? What's the motivation? Doesn't matter. If I get to do a scene with Tremel Tillman, if I get to do a scene with Britt Lauer, get to do a scene with Adam Scott, John Turturro. It's like, the same way. It's crazy right like what a dream team so i would honestly i would come into the room and hand them a glass of water and say here sir or ma'am or whoever i don't know anything yeah just anything water, yeah off to the race. Uh, yeah well we'll wait for that but in the meantime congratulations <laughs> on all of your success and good luck tonight Thank you. and so take it all in Thank take you. it all in i'm trying yeah <laughs> it's a lot you both look hard. All right, we are here with the legendary Henry Winkler, nominated tonight for supporting actor in a comedy. Barry, obviously, but you're no stranger. You won this role back in 2018. I did indeed. And I just want to say, with no humility whatsoever, I would like to win again. <laughs> I, you know that whole, it's so wonderful to yeah. be in the category. No. It's an honor to We yeah. want to win. It's just, a, I, my tush has been in that seat and not gotten out so many times. <laughs> I've got high. Okay. We want him up and active tonight. Right. Gotta get out of that seat. Yeah. yeah. All right, we'll see. Now, I gotta know because you know everyone in this town. If you could join any of these other nominated shows that are here tonight, what are you joining next season? Because I feel like you can make a phone wow, call. Wow, you know what? That is an amazing question. Um, well, I just, I just met um, uh, Miss Fanning. Okay. Yes. yes. She, in great, is one Phenomenal. of the great performances on television. I love that pun there, Mr. Winkler. I love that great, great pun. The bear? Yes. Oh, you got to do oh, it. Oh. Um, oh. Oh. Old man. Oh. Unbelievable. Um, uh, and Barry is not coming back. You know, this, I think this is our last year. You know, I can't believe that because the show has so many fans and the story. Yes, Just keeps going on but and on. Barry and on. is so bad, and he is in such a corner. I don't know how they can get him out. <laughs> well, you know, we know that Barry has taken such a, a dark turn for season well, three. It's funnier this year. We're yeah. we're shooting season four, yeah. and there are jokes. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. It was so dark this past season. I bought a miner's cap just to switch on the light, <laughs> so I could negotiate where we were going. I need illumination. Right, right. <laughs> a candle, something. <laughs> something. Well, hopefully your shine will light up this carpet. You have fun in there. And I hope I see you out of that seat. Take care. You're getting that win. Thank, Thank you, you so for talking much. with me. What a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Legend. <laughs> We're joined now by Adam Scott, nominated for Severance and your first Emmy nomination, yeah. which is just hard to believe. Oh, well, well, thanks. I find it easy to believe and hard to believe that I actually got one. Oh my <laughs> so I'm thrilled. Humility. No, have you seen Severance? Have you seen Severance? There was no way you weren't getting one. Oh, well, thank you very much. I, I'm, I was shocked and am still just so happy about it. I'm just really honored. It's yeah. great. We've been asking people what show they would most love to be a part of. Yeah. Everyone's saying Severance. People really? are trying to write Everyone. themselves into really? future seasons. 
What does it mean to you to know how much critical and commercial success this show has experienced? It, it really means everything, you know, because when you make something, you cross your fingers and hope it works, but you never know. You never know if something's going to come together and not only work, but if it will connect with people and, you know, critics and all of that. You just don't know. And usually it doesn't. And that's fine. You just got to keep taking swings. And we were making this big, really weird show every day thinking, is this going to make sense to people? Is this going to work? But doing it anyway and having so much fun doing it uh, and, and the fact that it's connected at all is just terrific. I mean, the conspiracy theories alone are yeah. worth it. I know. <laughs> Adam, thank you so much for stopping. Good luck tonight. So Have much. fun in there. Thank you. Have a good one. All right. The man of the hour is in the building, Mr. Kanan Thompson, <laughs> hosting the Emmys for the very first time. Now, little NBC birdie, if you will, told us there's going to be a big moment at the top of this show. What can you tell us? That's where the street. Uh, NBC birdie told y'all that? Birdie. Oh, wow. Them birdies is loose. <laughs> um, I mean, I think, you know, that's probably the bigger performance that I have to do. It's, it's grand and, you know, it's got some dancers and stuff like that. So. You know, it's, it's going to be a nice opening to the show, I think. It's going to set the tone of, like, celebration, but also they're up there working. You know what I'm saying? Them dancers right. is professionals. And, like, you know, I may or may not have gone to rehearsal as well. So we'll Ooh. see. Ooh. Can you just tell me, are we going to see, like, some SNL characters tonight? Maybe some SNL former co-stars? De yeah, definitely. Former and current, probably, based on whoever's coming. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I'm not... I don't know if I'm doing a lot of characters. We did, we're doing a lot of bits with people mostly. Okay. Yeah. Now I have to know because you are a comedic genius. So people really have to bring it to impress this man because he's seen it all. Yeah. Who was your favorite and most surprising SNL host that really impressed you? Well, I mean, I, I, I mentioned Tom Hanks and Dave Chappelle a lot. Um, Chadwick was incredible. But as far as like surprise bringing it, it wasn't that much of a surprise. She brought it so hard, though. Really? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I could she see that. It. She did definitely she did have it. the timing. Yeah. She crushed it. I mean, host and musical guest, you know, first time there. Like, she was a musical guest when Eddie hosted. But, like, first time doing the whole gambit like that. I mean, she just destroyed it. She was so funny and so present and just, like, easy to work with, easy and happy. Man, it was a, it was a great show. Wow. Well, we know you're going to crush it tonight, too. Thank and you. looking dapper with the sunglasses yeah. and the suit jacket. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> A shout out to Gazelle, you hey, heard? there we Woo. go. Have so much fun in there. Good luck tonight, Keenan. here with the one to be tonight. You are the one, Hannah Waddingham. Best supporting <laughs> actors in a comedy you won last year. I did. If you get a two P tonight, what is that gonna mean to you? Oh my God, do you know what? I That hasn't even entered my mind. My category is on fire. <laughs> so, you know, I'm just happy to, honestly happy to be here, yeah. really. I mean, and speaking of, your category is on fire. You are on fire. I mean, it's comfy. It is comfy. We can get the shimmies going. Yeah. That's what's most do important. Do you have the sneakers under there, too? Is it? What it tell me you do. <laughs> oh, you hey, do. Yes, she does. Yeah. Yes, she does. Yeah, we got to do the slow pin. <laughs> Genius! I mean, I love how much fun you bring to the carpet, how much fun you bring to the show. Too, look how fortunate we are. Yes. You know, I don't come from money in my family. There are all these roads cut off. Nobody can move anywhere because we're having this amazing time. Right. If you take it too seriously, then there's something wrong with you. Oh, no, for sure. I love for that sure. perspective. We are privileged out of our minds. Now, the last time I talked to you, yeah. you were singling and mingling. Yes. 
Now, tonight, there's going to be a lot of single men. <laughs> Hannah, just give you that eyebrow now. <laughs> Are we looking? Are we going in there? Is there someone we have our eye on? Oh, there's somebody I should say a little bit loyal to. Oh. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. We call that getting cuffed up. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And obviously, you mentioned your category is absolutely stuck. I'm curious, anyone that you'd fangirl over tonight, anyone you've yet to meet, anyone that you just love to run into on carpets like these? Well, all of them from White Lotus. Okay. And I have to say, Cheryl Lee Ralph, she can teach me to read any day of the week. I love her. She can fuss at me. Goddess. She's just, honestly, I'd like to listen to her reading audiobooks. <laughs> Are you enrolling into Abbott Elementary? Is I that what's happening? I will, honestly, and Quinta, I can't even cope with, even though I'm like 45 times larger. <laughs> honestly, when she and I met briefly, I was just like, that you are so talented. I feel like I don't even know what to say to her. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, really. you know what? She's not in Hocus Pocus too. But you are. I cannot I believe. Am. I am. We can't wait to watch. I cannot wait to watch that. I'm so excited. Swear to God, take a long blink and you'll miss me. <laughs>Christopher Maloney now. You two are presenting yes. and every time we get to see you together, it is just such a treat for us. What can you tell us about the category tonight? Any special surprises? Ooh. Best actor in the comedy. Okay. I mean, to me, they, you know, they're all classic guys. Uh, most of them be have been there before and, you know, I don't we, we, we were discussing who our favorites were. In but the car. It's going to be a very, very difficult uh, okay. decision and a very close race. It's 
Stacked so difficult. Work. Very stacked. Yeah. Very stacked. So you guys are the ultimate work wife and work husband. Yes. As you know. Does your husband ever get just a little jealous that this man may know a little bit more about you? Truth? Yes. Just tell the truth for <laughs> once in your life. Just tell it. For America. Uh, for Peter's sake. <laughs> Peter, here, I'll tell the truth. Um, I don't think anymore. I think my husband really appreciates what we are. Yeah together and uh like the rest of the country he's grateful <laughs> you two are national treasures so i love that you know you took the emmy for lead actress back in 06 uh for the drama series obviously for your role as detective benson where is that emmy now like where is it sitting is it out front row center in oh, the living room those kids are playing with that those I kids did. are playing Chris with has it. it he has to borrow it that every, night. every other year just so i can go ahead i had it made into a necklace but it got heavy yeah, okay so um no, I have it in my in my office at home. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you better let him know, Marishka. Have yeah. it front row center. I bring it to work often. Uh, I guess again, <laughs> just to remind people. Well, you guys, thank you so much for thank being. We really appreciate it, yeah. and we're gonna wait for that next Peloton ad. Mm, can't you wait. Just drop it. It'll be perfect. I'm yeah. doing the next one actually. Oh, yes, I'm should. very excited. <laughs> joining us now uh last time i saw you mario lopez had just given you your first mexican manhattan cocktail yeah and we talked about how there's a reason you've never seen it on your menu okay a reason you've never ordered it at a bar <laughs> only mario is making these potentially yes. he was making them and i bet he hasn't made them again either <laughs> Well, we do have a lot to celebrate tonight, so hopefully yeah. there is some sipping going on. You're nominated. You won for your work with Justin Timberlake on SNL yeah. a while ago. How excited are you to be nominated tonight? Does it mean more? Is this just another day in the life of Seth Meyers? Uh, uh, no, it means a lot. It's the first time our show's been nominated for show, and that means all the producers and the people, uh, more than anyone, I'm aware of the hours they put in. And so it's really cool to be out here with them. Yeah. Do you ever have a bad day on your show? Because yeah. you really make it look so easy and so effortless. I feel like there's like 50 of your friends in the audience. Well, it is the nicest thing about having a show like mine is you come to an event like this and you run into so many familiar faces, people you've been lucky enough to interview, who you've been lucky enough to work with at SNL. So this is this whole night is a really, you know, the, the, the real victory tonight is that you get to see old friends. And I'm saying that because I have no expectation I'll have the other kind of victory. You never know, Seth. It's about seeing old friends. Well, and anyone who says it's about awards, well, I would question the kind of friend they are. Oh, my goodness. Speaking of old friends, yeah. Keenan Thompson hosting yeah. tonight, your former co-star. Tell us something we don't know about Keenan Thompson. Something juicy. got to be good. My favorite thing Keenan used to do back at SNL is he would come in on Monday and in five minutes would just speak unbrokenly and tell us all the plot of the last uh, night's episode of Entourage. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we would all just sit around and say, tell us what happened on Entourage. Oh, okay. So you consented to the spoilers yeah, in no, case we, you hadn't we, watched. We, it, you know, with all due respect to Entourage, it was more fun to hear it first from Keenan and then watch it. Okay. You know what? Yeah. I think I, I would be down for that. Yeah, he would act it out. He would do it. Had a real good memory for the plot points, so it was really fun. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much. We really appreciate it, and good luck tonight. All right, Have nice fun to in see there. Both, nice right? seeing yeah. you. for Ted Lasso, up for Best Supporting Actress in a Comedy tonight. We just have to show the shoe, just yeah. for five seconds, because you were showing Amazing. us just now. Are they as comfortable as they actually look? I have been wearing them since 10 a.m. this morning. <laughs> Wow. And I'm hopefully never going to have to take them off. <laughs> you are serving. Look, we love you as Keely Jones. Talk to me a little bit about why you love that character and why you think fans love her too. Because she's got one of the biggest hearts I've ever read on a page and I've ever met in my life. And genuinely getting to play her, she 
is teaching me to be kinder to myself. And when I don't play her, I miss her. Do you? Oh, yeah. do you? I really do, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's been such a light in my life. And especially with this kind of wild time to be alive, with, you know, the past three years, the roller coasters we've all been through, she's, she's been, yeah, she's been a really important character for me that, again, thank you, Jason, for seeing something that I would not have seen in myself. And yeah, she's been somebody that's really taught me how to be kinder to myself. Wow. So when she's not there, it's yeah. tougher. Yeah. I can be a wicked da 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 to myself. <laughs> Well, what an incredible gift yeah, to truly. not just have the performance, but the gift that she brings to your actual yeah. life. Totally. We know that we have to wrap up. We love you for stopping, yes. but the Emmys are starting just any second Sorry. now. Yeah. No, I'd love for you to stay here, but this top board has to be seen inside. Has to be seen inside. You get in there with your team, Thank you love. So much, Good, night. You too. Good, Good luck you. tonight, Juno. Thank you. Oh, he's so hot. Oh, right? my God. Um, joined now by the oh so gorgeous Issa Rae. She's nominated tonight, lead actress in a comedy for Insecure, nominated for Variety Sketch Series for a Black Lady Sketch Show. Congratulations. When do you sleep? Oh my God, thank you. I, I be sleeping, I prioritize I sleep. I be resting in it, I be resting. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny, I bet looking back at what you learned from being on Insecure, you must have, you know, a wealth of knowledge. Is there something you wish you knew at the beginning that you know now? So much, just to enjoy it. You know, I was so like head down, grind mode. Like, are we gonna get a second season? Okay, are we gonna get a third? Stress, stress, stress. And like now I do miss some aspects. And I think I would have told myself to slow down, enjoy, recognize what you're doing. You know, we all fell in love with Issa D. As much as we fell in love with Issa Rae, what will you miss most about Issa D as you move into this next chapter of your life? Being able to play a character who is just constantly evolving and growing and becoming more self-aware and witnessing that in a way that I don't get to do for myself as often, you know? Nobody writes your life out. You don't get to chart the most optimistic path for, path for yourself and to be able to do that for Issa D and to give her a happy ending was really fulfilling. Yeah. Now, your character in the show talked to herself in the mirror, which I give myself a little pep talk to. He does that a lot. I hear yeah, you can hear him in the dressing room. room. Awkward, so I need to know, what did you tell yourself before you walked out on this carpet tonight? I didn't give myself a mirror pep talk, but I, I was just like, you're. I would say, if I could go back, you're here for a reason. Have fun tonight. Have a good ass time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason you're here is because you needed to meet us because we want to be on a black lady sketch. I'm just oh. trying to get in. Yeah, we ready. We ready. Robbing it. Y'all need to. Oh, we did. Oh, oh, wait, 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 Listen, we playing C's. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're you right. just going to see us on set. Like, actually, who gave them clearance? Like, <laughs> Can't wait to see y'all. It's going to be weird. <laughs> Where y'all going to play is the question. Oh, I'm coming in as a gay black assistant who's in the bomb shelter. Eating all your food. You wrote the sketch. I already Listen, wrote the sketch. I got I you. Him. He's been workshopping for a while. He's been throwing out. I knew you were coming for a minute. You know, a black lady sketch show. Seriously, it's so funny, and this cast is incredible. The guest star moments have been awesome. Who would you love to bring in for some fun? Uh, Blue Ivy's too young, by the way. I know she would kill it. She know because she low key winning awards already. Okay, yeah, you're right. Still in the game. I would have to say Beyonce or Rihanna. They're my dreams. Like, I we just like haven't seen them in that context before, so it would be amazing. Justin, you just got replaced. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Your skin okay. just got scrapped. Hey, sorry. <laughs> it's totally fine.
a whirlwind evening. We've had so much fun, but the best part is the night is young, okay? That's a wrap for us, though. Thank you for joining us for the official 74th Emmy Awards pre-show. I'm Zuri Hall. And I'm Justin Sylvester, and I want to thank all of our guests for joining us today. Yes. Thank you so much. The 2022 Emmy Awards with Lizzo in the background. Oh, my gosh. We got to go. It's about to kick off live on NBC and Peacock, and you do not want to miss a moment. We promise. Bye, everyone. Bye. Let's go find Lizzo. Lizzo, give a wave to the pre-show girl. You look good. <laughs> you guys. Love it. This so is awesome. Good. Did you have fun? With God's help and your counsels, I am resolved, faithful.